evening good evening welcome back to another wonderful sunday and that means another beautiful episode of baggage claim with jazz and charles the only show where we teach you how to claim the bag secure the bag and most importantly protect protect the the bag bag. um charles i am jazz and we are here today at the henderson financial group we are co-workers and cousins and just because today is a beautiful sunday like charles said and we're about to have a wonderful episode i'm gonna drop the phone number early because you may want to go back to it 305-825-1444 absolutely and if you don't catch that uh just know (laughs) it's right there in the uh, description so we'll have it right there for you laid out um i'm excited i'm I'm really excited about today's episode (laughs) i know we say every week well you say every week it's gonna be a great one but i really feel like today would be a great one you know Mm -hmm. absolutely yeah so before we uh kick it off how you doing today how was your weekend um i had a good weekend i went to the beach uh i usually go to the beach like later in the day because i like i don't really like to be in the sun Mm -hmm. but i i I went at two o'clock it was nice um i found the shade and i stayed in the shade though okay good for you good for you how was your weekend i wasn't gonna ask you (laughs) 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 my weekend it was good study got some work in you know that's always great and I felt like, all right, I hadn't really seen my people in the weekend uh, in a while. So I decided to take this weekend to to link with them, you know. I got to see some people I haven't seen in a while. And it was a nice change of speed, you know. Got to keep that balance up. Good. Balance is important. Definitely, definitely. Um, So Charles and I, for today's episode... We were hesitant to speak about the whole multiple streams of income thing because it feels kind of redundant. It feels Mm -hmm. like everyone knows we need multiple streams of income. Who don't know that by now? Yeah. But we said, you know what? Let's ask around. Let's ask our family and our friends. You said you were with your friends this weekend, (laughs) so I thought of it. Uh, Let's ask around and let's see what people think. And hi, Mr. Brown. Hey, Ms. Brown. And from what I can see or from what I got, Mm -hmm. um, everyone says, yes, you should speak about it. Mm. I feel like uh, I got the same response. You know, you always hear people say, oh, you need multiple streams of income. You need multiple streams. But I feel like what we're doing is looking at it from a different lens. You know, we're kind of turning the camera. Everyone always says you need multiple streams of income. But I'm not sure if the reasons are always said. I feel like we're looking at it from a different way taking a little bit of a futuristic approach you know yes yes you always hear uh you need the multiple strings because you can be fired you quit mm-hmm. or you can be laid off but people are forgetting your whole industry could just die oh man your whole you know job. what that is something that is not really talked about but it's something we see all the time you know things are here today going tomorrow um that's a drake bar uh <laughs> here today going tomorrow and it's common and it's going to pick up even more with technology. I feel like these days things are here in a flash because technology is kind of like um, exponential growth. It's becoming faster and faster. Speeding and up. the things that's here right now in five years, they could be gone. Yeah. Like imagine true. Lyft and Uber. You know, oh. growing up, they always say, <laughs> don't get in the car with a stranger. And yet here we are doing so it normal. every single day, it's every so weekend. Normal now. It's so normal to just hop in the car with a stranger. And that was <laughs> never a thing. It's interesting. And you have, um, I know we want to talk about the Neuralink. Mm-hmm. You have technology getting really risky. This is oh, a brain, man. a chip for your brain. Oh, man. Elon Musk is coming <laughs> through. So Neuralink, that's something that is going to start testing on humans in 2021 towards the end of the year. Uh, we're talking about all of these this te- this technology that's taking over things that's going to come, why you need multiple streams of income. Well, speaking about this technology, like you said, Neuralink, that is a computer chip that's going to be put into your head. It's basically going to make us all knowing. You know, that's something that they are working on right now. Um, I know you're not a fan <laughs> of it. <laughs> I'm already like conspiracy <laughs> eyes. Like, that don't sound right, Charles. <laughs> I think it's pretty fly. I honestly think it's pretty fly. Imagine, because we already have all this information on our phone. Mm -hmm. It's in your head. At the speed of light, you just know everything. That could could create a utopia of sorts. 
it feels like it would create a lot of confusion. Confusion. Because I feel like confusion. as humans, we're naturally competitive. Mm -hmm. So everyone gets like a kick out of knowing something that other people don't know. So if we are all all knowing, then what are we going to do? Who's going to decide who gets to live better or who gets, okay. you know, that could create a lot of chaos. And plus, first of all, have uh -huh. you not seen iRobot? <laughs> <They're gonna, like, laughs> That's the only thing I work you. about, like who's going to control yeah. it. <laughs> in charge all right so they have much milder forms uh the smart glasses that's something you may like yeah so start with the smart glasses like spy kids mm -hmm. you know where you like you can see in your lenses i like that's that it's nice and safe take the suckers off before okay. bed that's good yeah smart glasses that's something that's fly um they also have contact lenses where you can actually um bring up information so everything you do on your phone you can actually have those same commands from your glasses or your contact lenses so it seems like they're mm -hmm. thinking of every possible thing. Every single thing. And it's happening fast. Um, that also seems kind of scary. I would say, I wouldn't say scary. I don't really like to say scary. You're I think right. it's future forward, but I think it's scary if you're not prepared for it. Absolutely. So, for instance, uh, the last one we'll mention, self-driving cars. That's going to be here very soon. When I think of that, I think, okay, this is great, this is great. But then on the back end, a lot a lot of professions are going to be eliminated. A lot of professions. A lot of professions. When you think about it, you know, you know, we'll get into all of that. But a lot of professions are going to be wiped out. And we've seen that time and time again. You know, it's interesting. We have stuff like, uh, think about CDs. <laughs> we were young when CDs were popping. And it was mm -hmm. like, oh, snap, CDs. Look yeah. how cool this is. Remember, you had to save your stuff at school on like a floppy disk or something. I and they started telling remember. you to bring a CD in. So we had CDs. And then just before our eyes, CDs were gone. Like, we gone. loved CDs. And now how about like, cell phones? You remember, phones. quote unquote, dumb phones? Like phones yeah. before the internet? Yeah, where you had to like record your speaker to get your ringtone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we had those, VHS, all types of things. Um, so I guess the point would be things are here and they go um, and you need to prepare yourself for that. Yes, you know? because when they go, they take jobs with them. Absolutely. That's the main point of it all, really. Unfortunately. Um, so speaking about the self-driving cars, um, truck drivers, that is going to be taken over by autonomous driving cars. Um, truck drivers, UPS, USPS, mm -hmm. um, all type of things. Lyft, Uber, that's all going to be gone within maybe the next what? 10 to 20 years yeah that's and you know the, i read a statistic that said every year mm -hmm. the amount of jobs that are replaced by automation which is like artificial intelligence robots mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know how the this, future like, the british everything are coming, they told like, us the robots to are the coming yes i robot <laughs> uh every year the amount of jobs replaced by automation increases not is 14 percent, but increases by 14 percent every year that's that's intense. That is intense. I would say that's scary only because people don't know. So, of course, the drivers would be the easy one. But I think of, like, cashiers, bank tellers, um, jobs like that. Data you know entry what? clerks. Data entry clerks. That's a robot now. Imagine travel agents. When is the last time you heard of anybody calling up and saying, hey, where can I go for that's vacation? True. Everything is on the Internet. It's all on the Internet. You know, I went to a restaurant the other day. It was my first time going to a restaurant. <laughs> Congratulations. In, in COVID, and I had my mask on, except for when I was eating. Mm -hmm. But it was so interesting. It was my first time seeing the digital menu. They bring this little thing you just, oh. like, put over your, over your phone, and then all of a sudden there's a link and there's the menu. And I just could not help but think, I bet they didn't – I bet they were able to cut down on – waitresses and waiters because you don't really need that person you just really need food runners now mm. think about it with time i imagine that it would get even more intense like it would be more people who are just off to the this is depressing <laughs> because of the robots <laughs> i know if it you is think about it's it. really sad to think about because so many jobs you know you, did you know they used to have jobs where people would actually call in like they had data service centers so you know what you do with the computer you could actually call in to get that information. I think of people who used wow. to sell encyclopedias door to door oh, and then bringing it full forward. You know, it just hurts because these are things, these are respected jobs, maybe not careers, but respected jobs that you're supposed to feed your family off of and they're just going to be gone in the blink of an eye. Yeah, that's it's going to happen very fast, as we've already seen it happening very fast. And it seems, you know, automatically you would think that this is going to happen to the older generation. Mm -hmm. So it maybe makes the young kids <laughs> feel like, oh, whatever, <laughs> robots are not going to affect me. Yeah. But 
I read that it is going to affect mainly Generation Z. Well, it's going to start affecting Generation Z the most because I feel like with every generation, every previous generation, you're able to choose between a career. If you want to have a career path, let's say a lawyer or a doctor, mm -hmm. or you could get a job. You can go work at this for this corporation or that corporation and just get a job, regular nine to five. You have no skin in the game. You don't really care about the company, but they pay you and then you go home. Now, those corporations because of things like coronavirus have really realized that they don't we really don't need, need these people. Yeah, we don't really need them. <laughs> and so with time, they're going to replace everyone with robots and Generation Z is not going to have the uh, the privilege of being able to say like, I'll oh, just go pick up a job real quick because it's going to be a robot. You know, I bet this sounds like conspiracy theorist talk right now, but this is actually real. This is things that we researched. This is real data. Go, go and ahead. I'm glad you brought up 2020 because non-essential jobs they literally separated it essential jobs non-essential jobs well think about those people who maybe didn't have multiple streams of income they are in industries that are deemed non-essential so they were either fired laid off or you know they had to quit their position that is a thing that you know is not really talked about as much because 2020 it really hit home what's really going on, you know? Yeah, and to hear the whole essential job thing is interesting because if we're looking at the economy as a whole, every job is essential. We all keep this thing moving. You know what I'm saying? It, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm, I'm like the really nice okay. like butterfly. Like everybody's important. Everyone matters. I mean, that sounds yes, nice. Uh, yes. Yes, everyone matters. <laughs> okay. I mean, everyone does matter. I can't say it's pushing the future forward i can't necessarily say every job matters No, i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at the future because this is something that's just gonna have to happen again like gentrification we talked about it's one of those things that's gonna happen so you have to decide how do i maneuver around it so it doesn't hurt me how can i make it help me honestly but um in terms of multiple streams mm -hmm. that right there is a little that's the answer code. Yeah, that is the answer. And, you know, we brought up 2020. I like to bring back 2008 as well, mm -hmm. because, you know, a lot of young people, we were young. We were young in 2008, but we saw what was going on. You know, we saw even if we didn't fully understand, mm -hmm. we saw a lot of financial damage being done. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And it was really out of our control for mm -hmm. the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the bankers and the people at the top of society who really crashed the car. We were just passengers along for the ride. Mm -hmm. So. From that, I get, all right, you need to have multiple streams of income. If that didn't hit home, then 2020 came through, ran it back again, hit us ran with a plague back. and said, this <laughs> is what you need. Yeah. You need multiple streams of income. Yeah, because in 2020, we were really able to see just how if those corporations and those big businesses, they can't uh, they can't pay you. If they're forced to close their doors, you're just left to take care of yourself. That's why you got to be your own plan B, mm. be your plan A and your plan B. That's beautiful. So Thank I you. think of it like an insurance policy plan b like you said you need to have it yourself and so you know we're talking about all of this you know robots things of that nature coming along why are we really speaking about it well we're talking to everyone of all ages whether you're generation z millennial um boomer is that what it's called yeah the boomers the boomers whatever <laughs> you may boomers. be uh multiple streams of income is for you and you know a lot of times things are really uh, shouted at the young people you need this you need this of course, it's better to start young, but I feel like it's something for everybody all ages. Yes. You want to look at multiple streams like think about a farmer. Mm. Okay? okay. You're a farmer and you've got corn. First of all, all the <laughs> we stories. Always about farming. Always about farming. <laughs> That's what I'm laughing. <laughs> Oh, All right. that's so funny. Give them okay. our farmer story. Yeah, it's another farmer story. If you are a farmer and you've got corn and you're like, yes, I love corn. I sell corn so well. Everything's wonderful. And then a drought comes mm. and you can't sell corn. But your neighbor, he's also a farmer and he's got veggies and he's got some animals on there. You know, some cows, chickens, mm -hmm. a little chicken farm going on. Okay, and okay. so when there's a drought, he's able to still sell his meat because America loves meat. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so that right there is multiple strings. And it's not, he didn't do it because he wanted to be so wealthy and this is how he was going to get so rich. He did it because he knew that things are unpredictable. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a drought could come or a virus could come and you want to be your own plan B. He was his own plan B. That's beautiful. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like we talk about the farmers because 
it's so easy to relate to you know in this case of course <laughs> you you're the farmer <laughs> you need to plant these seeds i feel like it's really something that can be looked at in all aspects of it's life a good visual example exactly <laughs> so plant your seeds <laughs> and mind you i do have to say i hope that farmer who has all of these seeds planted is also storing away for the winter yes that's something to go back to episode two to watch number two if you got all these seeds planted don't just spend it all consume it all please make sure you store in the way for the winter as well mm -hmm. that's something else 2020 taught us that's something 2020 taught us for sure another you never know what could happen a whole never virus know. could just come on through and so okay when people talk about multiple streams of income like the farmer you think wait i don't have time for another job mm -hmm. i work the nine to five i have kids i'm tired i get home i cook i bathe them you know mm -hmm. the list goes on and on i don't have time for another job but multiple streams doesn't necessarily mean you have to get another job it can be uh investments that are constantly making you money and you don't even have to be hands-on it doesn't have to be something that takes a lot of your energy and i feel like if it does take a lot of your energy it could be something that you love something you're passionate about absolutely see that's my favorite part of what you said it doesn't have to take all your time we only have 24 hours in a day either way so you know you can't be here and there and here and there we mm -hmm. need to get our rest we need balance absolutely um it's so many ways that you can have these multiple streams i think of it as mailbox money you know Things that's going to come in every single month, no matter what. You could be partying, you could be on vacation, <laughs> casino, whatever you yeah. want to do. Mm -hmm. That money is coming in regardless. And you know what? I think we should run down the list today just to yes. tell people some different ways. Yes, because you know what we do here at Baggage Claim? Mm -hmm. We don't just point out the problem. No. We point out the problem and we bring a solution. Absolutely. We there are we future forward and <laughs> solution oriented. Oh, I like that. Future forward and solution oriented. Yeah, let's trademark it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get into the different ways of um, different ways you can have multiple streams of income rather than just, you know, state the problem. Let's give some solutions as well. Mm -hmm. So the first stream of income that we already know about, earn income, that's what you get from your job. You know, that's what you get trading time in for money. Uh, mind you, you only have 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. So this is what you get from um, working, clocking in, um, punching the clock. This is what you get you from your it. efforts. Mm -hmm. This is active income right here. That's the salary. Now, it could be just you. It could be you and a spouse, whatever the case may be. But that is what you're bringing in. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your profit income. Mm -hmm. That could be if you love candles. So you make some candles. It costs you $5 to make a candle. You sell that candle for $15 or $20. That's mm -hmm. your profit right there. And you didn't even have to sweat. You know, you did what you loved and you made some money off of it. That could also be like if you love doing makeup and you want to, you know, go to cosmetology school, get your license real quick because mm -hmm. we do everything legal. Oh, right that's here, beautiful. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then you go and now you're doing makeup. That is profit income. It costs you uh, less than you are selling it for and it's, it's income for you. Absolutely. And, you know, we saw a lot of that in 2020. I actually know someone who... Um, I talked about it last week. They started selling nails, but these are, there are also people who start online businesses. You know, that's a great thing to do to get that profit inf profit income coming in. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, <laughs> another thing we could talk about would be interest income. Mm -hmm. So that would be, of course, uh, bonds. But even besides the bonds, that could be from uh, micro lending or hard money lending. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't know micro lending, that's if you have a little money on the side, maybe one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars, and you just want to lend it out to somebody. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure Uncle Sam knows what you're doing. Please be safe. But you everything get legal, everything ethical. Everything legal, <laughs> everything ethical. But you could get some uh, interest return on that. And then hard money lending. So that is when you know you may have ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, whatever it may be, sitting on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, people get hard money lent to them to buy a property that's in way outside of the bank. And you could charge a high interest rate on that. Mm -hmm. So whatever it may be, 9, 10, whatever your interest rate may be, mm -hmm. you can lend them that money and get that interest coming in every single month. Mm -hmm. um, and that you really want to do your research on. Please do your research. For sure. Get you some contracts please, drawn please. up, lend to people you trust, you know, or just 
Yeah, make sure you do it right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got your dividend income. Uh, we speak a lot about these ETFs out here. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a dividend income, that'd be something like the stock market. You know, you put your money in there. And because you have some sort of ownership or some sort of stake in it, now you are getting your money back. And uh, you're getting gains on top of that. And you are just sleeping and mm. making money and eating and making money. And that's that passive income. You didn't really have to do much for it. That is a beautiful one. We love, love, love dividend love. interest here. Love. <laughs> You know, it's nothing better than getting some money into your account that you technically didn't have to work for. Absolutely. Like, what's that feeling like? What does that feel like? Oh, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what it feels like, but it feels good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it feels good. It feels good. We <laughs> talk about uh, an ETF here that you can get 11% on. So if you want a little more info on that, if you're considering multiple streams of income for yourself and you're thinking, I can't get another job, Boom, an ETF is considered another stream of income. It's nothing like safe monthly income coming in. Just something to help out, you know. Period. Um, so on top of that, speaking of monthly income coming in, we have rental income. Mm -hmm. That's one that we love here. Uh, that is when you purchase a property, you know, whatever it may be. It could be a single family home, uh, you know, duplex, multiple tenants, triplex, whatever it may be. Uh, that is when you purchase a piece of property and then you rent it out. You know, you have tenants living there. And you're getting that money every single month is coming in. Now, it could be active. It could be passive. It depends on you. Uh, when Charles and I got, got our properties, we're like, uh, we want to be as hands-off as possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no headaches. I don't want any calls about anything. So that's mm -hmm. when you get your uh, property manager or something like that. Absolutely. And there's something called turnkey companies. You know, most people don't know what that is, but that's literally where you just put money in. And a company does everything for That's you. Amazing. They find the house. They set you up with the property manager. They do everything for you. That's beautiful. It yes. doesn't get more passive than that. Yes, there are options out there. Like we always say, the internet, man, the internet. You can Don't find get me anything started. on the internet. Don't get me started. You can find anything on the internet. Yeah, yes. but please, just know, you know, you get out what you put in. Of course, with the turnkey, it's a little less profit, but it's still something for everybody. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would be really good if you have like multiple properties or something, you know, mm -hmm. that way your profit is like larger and you can afford to, you know, have a, like a whole company take care of everything for you. Absolutely. At that point, you're basically a company yourself. Period. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got your capital gains income. That's like buying something and selling it for more. If you are a sneaker head and oh, you man. love your shoes, Stock you want to cop all the Jordans, <laughs> you may as well sell them suckers for more. You know, they appreciate absolutely you know buy low sell high that is always what we preach here you know honestly capital appreciation that could be anything it could be stocks it could be bonds like she said sneakers trading cars if you want to trade in cars or comic books you know art. you can do all of that art that's a big one and nfts non-fungible tokens we tried to stay out of the crypto we won't get too much into it but that's something that's big that's coming up google nfts non-fungible tokens that's something else you could invest in, flip it for more. Um, I want to tell them about taxes too, though. Okay, go ahead. Just know, <laughs> with capital appreciation, with capital gains, buy low, sell high. When you get that short return, you pay the most taxes on that usually. So uh, know what you're getting into. Yes, with everything, know what you're getting into for sure. And, Absolutely. Uh, then you got the royalty income. This yes. one's fun because, you know, <laughs> remember the baby shark? Doo -doo 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 -doo. I remember. That's money, money, money. They they came out with a show based off that. They've got merch. They've got, um, they've got uh, what's it called? What's the deals with oh, YouTube okay, okay. and Amazon? All off of the baby shark All jingle? off of baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow. Amazing. So if you know somebody who is the next big music generational talent, that's a best friend, family member, whatever it is, please give us a call. Let us know. <laughs> we can get some royalties off of it. If you know somebody like that, it's best to invest in them because it's appreciating. They are something that I won't call them an asset, but they are a person that has a very bright <laughs> <Use> future <them. laughs> and you want to <laughs> support them. them and invest in them. You know, <laughs> there's so many different ways you can make money. Uh, be creative. Use the Internet as leverage. Creative. Because, you know, when you think about 2020, at the beginning of the pandemic, right, homeowners were feeling it. You know, people who own properties, they were feeling it and people in the stock market. Yeah. But 
people with online businesses started booming because we were stuck inside the house. Absolutely. That changed everything. It really did. And think about the people who were furloughed or laid off. If they had that online business on the side, nothing stopped. Nothing changed. The wheels kept turning and everything was wonderful. They're a great testament to be your own backup plan. Absolutely. And you know, something that you touched on with the profit, uh, I just want to reiterate, it doesn't have to be something super... Um, Super complicated. You know, if you have a hobby, like Jazz said, uh, you can always sell it. We know people who sell candles, who sell baked goods, whatever it may be. Um, I love basketball. If I could get money for playing basketball on the weekends, <laughs> I would do it. But I'm here instead, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, so I'll just find something else that I love. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, and I like the fact that it gives you a chance to tap into your creative side. Mm -hmm. You know, if maybe you have a really stressful job, but your nine to five is stressful, that multiple stream could be something like, um, I like to juice. I don't sell the juices, but I do like to juice, like fresh okay. juices. So you could uh, be a juicer or you could, like you said, make cakes. It can be something that's also therapeutic to you. And with that, you can also uh, pick up something new and learn all about it. And there you go. You're just furthering your knowledge and making money. Man, so absolutely. Win, win, win. Win, win, win. <laughs> yeah. That's the one right there. Uh, let's say hello to some people. Hey, how you doing, Miss Owens? Hi, Miss Owens. What's up, Mr. Jones? Hey, Hope you're doing Jones. well. Hey, hey Miss Ward. Ward. Fab Nees, great to see you. Hey, Good Fab evening. Knees. Mr. Ingrayo, hey, of Mr. course, Ingrayo. great to see you. Yeah, I'm going on the website. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Edwards, how you doing, hey, Mel? Miss Edwards. Hey, you know what? Mr. Ingrayo, uh, his comment says, love it, uh, but stressful being a landlord. Yes, hands-off property manager is best as I've done both. So what he's saying is he's been an active uh, property owner where people call and say, hey, my window's broken, um, <laughs> broken. <laughs> my toilet is clogged, whatever it may be, any small inconvenience, come mm -hmm. fix it. He's been in the case where he's went and fixed it himself. <laughs> and then <laughs> he's also had a property manager where he calls him <laughs> and says, take care of that for me. <laughs> He could have hired someone to fix it. He could have hired someone as well. Mr. went there with like his handyman gloves on and like fixed the toilet. Some people fix it themselves. <laughs> um, mind you, with Jazz and our property, we're going to try and be as hands off as possible. Yeah. But, you know, that sounds crazy. If you we're call me, I may fix a window or two. <laughs> no, I'll be really. like, please call Charles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, we got on topic. The <laughs> point <do>. is, <laughs> there are so many different ways that you can earn money. Um, so many different ways, but the main point is one, have multiple streams of income, and two, be cognizant, be aware, know what's coming. The robots are taking over. <laughs> we threw out some coming. statistics, we told you what's <laughs> happening. All of this is verifiable and it will be out very, very soon. <laughs> Mr. Ingrao can confirm he did not fix it himself. <laughs> okay, that was beautiful. He fixed, um, he called someone, yes. but he didn't fix it himself. But he had to deal with the call in the first place. I mean, who wants to deal with those kind of calls? So. I know some people who fix it themselves on their properties. I believe it. I believe it for sure. It won't be me, though. No, it won't be. <laughs> Um, Alrighty. Yeah, I'm not a skilled enough, yeah. you know, <laughs> but I'm willing to learn. YouTube is everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, anything else from you? No, I'm good. I'm good, too. Alrighty. Uh, thank you for tuning in this Sunday. Thank you for watching. Please share, share, share. Consider those multiple streams. And again, if you have anything, uh, one of the multiple streams that you're considering is an ETF, call us up here or property or anything. You do so much yeah, here. Yeah, we do a lot. But uh, yeah, give us a call at 305-825-1444. Yes, yes. And we have so many shows uh, slated, not just ours. Um, tune in on Wednesdays, tune in on Saturdays. Uh, there are so many shows on Saturdays. And on Wednesday, we have the men's um, show with Tavares and Antonio. That's at 7 p.m. every Wednesday. So yes. tune in for that. Yes. Um, if you want some up uplifting, you know, some brotherly love, uh, tune into that. Yeah, and then if you want some information on Saturdays, it's basically all day. Yeah, it's starts like at 8 a.m. and just goes on. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> starts at 8 and goes on. It's good. Absolutely. Alrighty, thank you again, and everyone have a good night. You guys have a great one.